Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Shake your Stacy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to clean your syringes. These are for people who can't really afford to keep buying the $12. It's like $12 for six syringes. I think that's a lot of money if you can't really afford it. If you can, go ahead, girl, spend your money. But if you can't do that, then you can watch them. Before we get into this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on all my social media, and let's get into the video. You ain't the one for me, you ain't got shit I need Want me to take my time with you, maybe I'm not your speed Maybe I'm not your lead, you ain't even got no cheese Maybe I'm just too G for you, maybe I'm just too street I can even roll in peace, everybody so I bought these from Target. I paid like $5.99 plus tax. It came up to $6.14. And I did find it in the baby aisle where you find all the bottles and the cleaners. I'll be using that to clean out the tip of the syringe to get it deep inside because nothing else can get in there. Well, um, the cloth couldn't get in there. So I had to get something really thin. So before recording this video, I decided to soak the syringes in boiling hot water and that was a mistake because it, it got really messy really quick. That's why I have long gloves because the lip gloss is very sticky. So if I were to do this again, I would not soak it in hot water. I mean the hot water helps, but please do not soak it because it gets really messy. If you can afford to keep buying your syringes, you might as well do that because this is a lot of work. I ain't gonna lie to y'all and I will not be doing this again. I know I said it before, but I will not. It is way, way too much work. I am taking the smallest brush and I'm gonna clean out the tip of the syringes. As you guys can see, um, I regret using all these syringes at once. I should have did it one at a time. But like I said, this is my first time. This is trial and error, so I will be doing one at a time. So right here is when I attempted to use just paper towel and I refreshed the water. I added some more hot water and threw out the old one and that wasn't working either because the paper towel was just sliding around. That's when I realized that I had to get a cloth. I don't know why I didn't think to do this at first. This was way easier, it made my life way more easy. And it actually worked. So this is what the syringes look like after I wash them. I mean, they're not the cleanest, which is why I'm gonna buy some new ones. Um, I was just doing this video for people who can't afford to buy new syringes all the time, so. And it's still a little sticky, just make sure you wash them properly. I don't have the time for that, so I'm gonna be buying some new ones. I mean, 
mean, they are pretty clean. The only thing is that I didn't really take my time to wash them. I just did it for the video. And it's still a bit sticky. Yeah, so they are pretty clean. And I discovered that with the cloth, it's much easier to wash them. So the stuff that I bought from Target, I think it was the stuff to clean the baby bottles. You only need it for this part. You only need it for the tip to get through there. Otherwise, you don't really need it. You could just use the washcloth and whatever cloth you want. Throw some dishwashing liquid on it and then you're fine. I'm going to show you guys which one I use. This is what I use. And it's only $2.99. I bought it from the 99 cent store. Oh, whatever. So, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that hard, but being that I used the stuff from the stuff you use to clean the baby bottles, whatever it's called, I used that at first. And I wasn't getting all the way to the bottom, so I decided to use the cloth, and that was much easier for me. So. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you in my next video.